Hello, I'm Rob with the Bee, and this is 101 Ways to Make Fire. When you go camping, it's always a good idea to take a, a torch with you. Flashlight, some people call it. Um, you just want to make sure before you go that, uh, that it's working properly. And so, yeah, let me... Okay, so we don't have a working torch. Is this going to put an end to my plans for a romantic evening of primitive Scrabble? Not for the B-boy, baby. Last time I showed you how to make fire with a parabolic mirror, whereby we essentially took the parallel rays of the sun and concentrated them onto a single point. Now if you think about a torch, it does pretty much exactly the opposite in that it takes a point source of light and reflects it into a parallel beam. What that means is we can use the torch in reverse. First we're going to just dismantle this. That's the bit we're looking for. There we go. There's our mirror and we don't need the bulb because that ain't working. This is a deep parabolic reflector which means that the focal point is right inside there. What I'm going to use for our target is a small piece of dried fungus. I'm going to place our target, our tinder fungus, in through the back, in the hole where the bulb normally goes, and then find the focal point. But wait! Obviously I had a pair of these in my backpack. Let's get up nice and close there. Right then, we're going to drop this into our little bird's nest, our tinder bundle. So there we have fire. And fire means light, and light means scrabble. Look, Rob make bunga bunga.